morning and happy Sunday everybody. Okay. Owen is very excited to show you all the things we got in the calendar. So, so we got this, 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 <laughs> this and this. But in other words, the tea is midnight mint. Mint tea is one of my favorite teas so this is a nice one I think. Then I got another little red one. That's all I'm getting at the moment, the little red one. I love them so it doesn't matter. Then Owen oh, got a bell. James got, I think that's like a bubble or something. Um, that yeah. is a, that and then the, is, the is, candle is icicles. That is a rabbit thing. A rabbit thing? Yeah. Okay, apparently it's a rabbit thing. We got some little rabbits and a carrot for the calendar and Owen got a bell. And do you want to tell us what Nomi did during the night, Owen? He, he was, he was taking that and putting out the bell. He took, he stole my thread. And put it there, and there he is. And he left his hat on top of the star. And he climbed it up on top of the light. Yeah. He's a crazy elf, isn't he? Yeah. What's, the, uh, yeah. What's my song? What? I can do the main magic books to let the whole keep the songs on. What, Mommy? Yeah. You're the stay you are. And um, what? You have to stay as you get stones on me, big songs to me on. To show you on? The big songs. I put big songs on? Am I, am I the DJ? Yeah. Okay. Uh, do they have to be Christmassy songs? Yeah. You can have them whatever song you want, whether, whether you would like them to be. Right. I picked this one. I got so many money bricks. I can never live, no. I can make so many money bricks. I can make my hat. Oh my god, my money one. Oh, my hat. I can never lose a dollar. I can't do my fun. I can't lose the number. I need a hobo to go. I'm ready for hobo to go. I'm ready for the doors. I can't lose the dollar to go. No more. I can't lose the money. I can't lose the money. I can't lose the number. I can't lose the money. Well done. Hello, it is actually now half 11. I have spent the morning on my laptop um, doing stuff, buying stuff, um, like ordering the last few presents I need and um, responding to emails and messages and things like that. I have edited my vlog from yesterday and it's not up to go live tonight. I have edited my video for Thursday uh, morning, which will be a video of my mommy slash Christmas swap. It took me a long time to edit because the boys are on the video with me and um, when you add children to the mix, it takes a long time to film a video and if I had left it the way it was, it could have probably lasted about an hour long. And I made it down to about, I think it is... 23 minutes including what I've sent her and what I've she sent me so I'm quite happy with that kind of time it's gonna be a long-ish video but um, at least you can see everything oh sorry uh, I cannot wake up properly so far um, Owen is playing one of his games and James is on his computer playing one of his games and he has Alfie with him. I'm guessing Alfie might be asleep on him now. He was fighting sleep so James thought he would take him with him and um, try to get him to sleep while he plays. Um, this afternoon, well for lunch, I don't have to prepare anything because we have 
a lot of leftovers from yesterday's Chinese so we're gonna have this and um, this afternoon Chips is gonna go to Tesco's to get a few things um, for like a few food items we need uh, so we don't order we don't have to order the shopping for a wee while I need to cook some lasagna it's not for today we'll have them uh, for the next few nights from tomorrow I need and then I would like to do some baking I need to have a shower and I want to give the both the boys a bath tonight and I need to finish all the laundry and yeah that's it I think uh, but I am um, I feel like this weekend I am continuing to tick a massive amount of boxes I know I keep talking about ticking my boxes at the moment but there's just so much to do and now I can put the work side of things aside completely well, once I have posted the parcels tomorrow um, and it's already a big thing I might actually tonight cut the um, stockings for us I still haven't done that even though I said I would do it for ages in the end I decided to focus on like really urgent yeah. stuff and yeah I'm gonna stop the rambling because I feel like this is gonna be a super long rambly video otherwise but this is basically what I've been up to this morning so it's half 12 now uh, I'm about to have my lunch but before that I am going to make the first part of the biscuits I'm baking because the um, pastry needs to, or the dough needs to sit in the fridge for a full hour to kind of harden a bit. Uh, I'm this is the book um, from IKEA uh, with their recipes, and this one is called uh, Chocolate Chitterbugs. It's basically chocolate biscuits, and it's like swirled with meringue, and that sounds amazing so uh, i'm gonna do the first part and set it in the fridge and then have my lunch go for a shower and then i'll do the rest um yeah we'll show you the program okay so here we have butter one egg yolk and this is a mix of flour and cocoa powder and i'm also going to add some sugar once i've already mixed that a wee bit okay so first <laughs> i would like to say this is meant to come together as a dough and even if I try like to I know it's meant to be crumbly but this is really there's not enough wet ingredients there at all so I'm just gonna have to add some butter because I'm meant to roll that into a flat sheet well two flat sheets after and then roll it like a Swiss roll and this is not gonna happen like that so I'm gonna add some butter because it's the only thing that will make it yeah, it's not gonna work otherwise. So that's now the dough all um, cling filmed and it's gonna go in the fridge for an hour. I ended up adding another half of what about, well basically I'm making twice the recipe because it's making 20 biscuits and I thought 20 biscuits would go very quickly. <laughs> well, they last a lunch time. <laughs> they were not really worth the whole effort of all the different steps for just 20 biscuits. So I'm gonna stick those now in the fridge Oop. there we go and I'm going to have my Chinese leftover and I have a lima joining um, and then uh, I've just quickly uh, wiped the workshop so I'm not going to bother um, cleaning everything now because there's still a few steps and I know I will make a mess so there's absolutely no point in trying to clean up everything now when I'm going to have to do it again anyway very soon. Um, yeah, I'm going to go uh, have my lunch and then I will um, have a shower and then I'll continue the biscuits. But um, so far today is quite productive. I'm still not washed because I've started something completely different. Owen is helping me to, we are making the stockings for our house. Uh, and he's helping me and um, pinning everything together I will sew them I probably won't sew them today but uh, at least if everything is pinned it's whenever it's time to do it um, I can just sew or uh, James is away with Alfie to the shop so I thought I would do something Owen can take part in and he loves to pass me pins and then pin them back into the pin cushion um, and he was telling me all about joints you know the way he's obsessed with the human body 
and I asked him what were joints. Do you want to explain when, what joints are when? Yeah. Depend your neck, your, your knees, and your arms. Your elbows, yeah. And what about, what do you call at your feet? That. Is on, the, on the two sides, it's time. Yeah, what, are you, what do you call them? Is a ankle. He just literally, <laughs> I just told him it was called ankles. What did you call them before? What did you call them? Feet? Seat? Ever. <laughs> he was saying to me, I asked him what address he said, the thing that makes you move, that can move, like your elbows, your knees, your neck, and your feet elbows. <laughs> <laughs> that was funny, wasn't it? Yeah. So it's now quarter past four. And although I haven't done much about what I had said I would do so far, I have done, uh, I have cut and pinned all the stocking, the stockings for us. Uh, so then it's done and it means during the week, anytime I have time, I can just do them. Um, from the point I'm at until they are all finished, it will take about one and a half to two hours. So it's really not a big work now, but we're going to show you the colors together. They're not finished, obviously, but you'll see the color combinations and how they look together. So Owen is going to tell you who they are for, okay? So the first one has reindeers and a green cuff. And who is that for? Daddy. Yep. The next one has the same reindeer fabric and a purple cuff. And who is that for? You. Yep. The next one has the Christmas tree fabric and a yellow cuff. And who is that for? I see. And the last one has the Christmas tree fabric and a blue cuff. And who is that for? Me! Yay! So now I am going to go in the kitchen. I have actually taken out of the fridge the balls of dough a little bit, like about 20 minutes ago, because they were rock hard and there was no way I could have rolled them into a sheet. So I'm going to go and do that now. And I think I need to do the meringue as well. And... Um, after, when James is back, is away at the moment, when he's back, uh, I will go for my shower. I know I've been meaning to go for my shower all day, but um, it just didn't happen and I got other stuff done. So I will just do it after the baking and I've put the water on for quite some time so there will be quite a bit of hot water so the boys can go for a bath as well too. And uh, yeah, so time to go and see if I can roll this pastry. So despite I think the butter it is super crumbly and it's cracking, I literally had to like press it down together. This one is even worse. <coughs> the way it works now is that I have to make a meringue, spread it over the top and then roll it. And it cuts slices. So I think I'm just going to make it... It's probably not going to be very presentable. But uh, I'm just going to try it and see what happens. And what's the scenario? They will look horrible and they... The, the, I've tried the dough because I do like to try dough uh, and it's nice. I was worried that with the meringue it could be too sweet but that dough of chocolate biscuits is actually uh, not too sweet so it's actually not sweet enough but the meringue will compensate so I'm going to make the meringue and then hope for the best. So there's both with the meringue on top and now is the fun time I need to roll this like a Swiss roll when this is all crumbling already so it's going to look the way it looks it doesn't matter and then I will cook it it will I'm hoping if the meringue hardens in between the biscuit bits that will harden too it will look like this is how they are meant to look like and I'm thinking they don't look like a swirl properly so um, it doesn't matter they taste nice that's what matters so as planned they look a mess I've basically made lumps of crumbs and meringue mixed together I'm gonna hope for the best. So we're up for bath time now. So you know, Daddy, I'll use to stay up the stairs. Yes, I will stay up the stairs. Come on, let's go then. Daddy is already upstairs with Alfie to get the bath started because our bathtub takes hours. Prefer not not hours, but a lot of time. I got my pen is ready to pop. Owen has some towels ready. Um, I had to get new ones in the hot press for him down the stairs, but Alfie has some clean ones in his room, so I'm going to get one now. And we're going to put them both in the bath. Owen is going to pick a bath bomb. We're not going to put it in the bath straight away. Alfie is going to go in the bath with him first. Then we'll get Alfie out for him to be able to big bubbles because 
And this skin is a bit too sensitive for flask too. This one! Frozen? Yes. Okay, we're gonna make it back frozen. Yes. When it's all clean, yes. and his hair is washed, and he's in pajamas, and he's gonna go and have some... Some... Dinner. Dinner. And then we'll be better, Master. The granny and grandma are gonna come and say hello first. Let's come back to that. Bedtime. Oh. Yeah. Well, there's a lot of exciting things this week happening. What? On Wednesday, we're going to see the Wizard of Oz show. <gasps> and on Friday, we're going to see the dance show. Ah, uh, the dance show? That Hannah and the children, and the, some bigger children are doing. Lucy and Mia are going to be in here. Wow! Are you excited? Yeah. We also have a clean baby. And this is when I'm going to smell his hair all the time. When I wash his hair, I look... Oh no, you don't... You can't... Oh, hello. <laughs> and oh, when... You know what? What? Mm. <laughs> I love the smell of the... The shampoo and... Well, it's like a body wash shampoo for babies I use on them. Alfie's going to be a very keen YouTuber, I can tell. Yeah. Mm. Oh, God. <laughs> It's now uh, 6 o'clock and I'm finally getting around to get a shower. Eventually it did happen. Well, it hasn't happened yet, but um, it will happen now. Um, the biscuits are cooked. I will show you after. Um, James' is mom and dad come and visit every Sunday night. And I want to get a shower before they arrive. So I'll show you the biscuits after. They basically look similar to the pictures, but much bigger. Taste wise, I don't know if they taste what they are meant to taste like because I don't know what they are meant to taste like originally. They are not bad, but they are too much hassle for the result uh, you're getting. So I don't think it will become a regular recipe and is definitely not making it to my Christmas biscuits list. Um, it's not, it's, it's, they are okay, but they are not amazing and they are a lot of work. So, no. So that's the biscuits there. Uh, so basically it's like a mix between rag and chocolate biscuits. As I said, they are not bad, but they are massive compared to what they're supposed to be. So it is now 8 o'clock and the boys are in bed. I am about, well we are about to have a um, roast dinner that has been cooked by a local uh, food people thing. Oop. Got them in Sainsbury's, but I know it's a local... I don't know what you call it, not catering, but... It's a local farm that is, I suppose, trying to make more money by delivering finished products rather than just the raw ingredients. There you go. You have the explanation by James. So, uh, from te uh... Tesco's have carry that brand as well because it's the same brand as the ready the mix Lins, I yeah. So, yeah, basically it's, it's local, local producers who make ready meals and they sell them in supermarket and they are actually really nice and it supports the local thing, <laughs> the local uh, economy as well. So um, James bought me, um, I decided to go for ready meals for the next two days so then I can get stuff done and I still have a proper lunch. Um, so James got me some of the same uh, people, which is called, how do you pronounce this now, Cloudbain Farm? Anyway, we're going to have this. Um, tomorrow, um, I don't think there's anything planned. I need to go to the post office. So what I might actually do is go in the morning when Owen is in school with Alfie to the shopping center to get my stocking fillers uh, finished. Just so then I know everything is sorted and I don't have to worry about it. And to get some like chocolates and stuff to bring for people to like in France just to finish off uh, their presents uh, so I might just get that done so then I know like all the Christmas stuff are sorted and I don't have to worry about this anymore and <coughs> I'm joking and I can spend the rest of the week like uh, wrapping the stuff and getting everything ready um, yeah so that's about it I will see you tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow was not that interesting, I'm sorry, but still got a productive day, so I'm glad. I have my appointment, but... Oh, yes. <laughs> Oops, I forgot about that. James has his oncologist appointment tomorrow, so... Well, it is more... Uh, I, won't, I will not be going because um, 
it's in Belfast and he's going to work and he's going to go after work basically um, and then come home and um, yeah so I will find out what's happened after that but we'll keep you updated for whatever we know if we do know something see you tomorrow bye